Let's talk about suffering. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. A lot of us don't realize that suffering is something that can be one of the most strategic skills to ever master. So here's what I mean. A lot of times we have distress and eustress, and you probably heard that talked about many times with cold showers, with breathing exercises, with thermogenesis, with just about anything. People aim for eustress and they try to get rid of distress. Now, on top of that, when we look at things like a startup that sells for $100 million, what often people don't realize is that they took the amount of stress that you would get over maybe a 10, 20, 30, 40 year job career, and they compiled it into three to five years of working incredibly hard to sell something at a value that makes sense. And I got this theory from Paul Graham and I started to really think about it because when you start to understand that suffering itself is something that you can master because you control your mind. So even even during these periods of time that don't feel that great, if you can have a positive mindset and grind day in and day out, and that's why it's called the grind, because grinding is not pleasant. Grinding is basically two things sanding each other down. But if you can make sure to keep your mind straight, happy, do the things like self-care, then you can suffer as a skill, you can get to where you need to go. Think about the Navy SEALs, right? The Navy SEALs have mastered suffering as a skill. Why? Because they will subject themselves to some of the most brutal and rigorous training and situations in combat and keep the mind sharp because they have an objective. So if you have an objective strong enough to keep you going no matter what, then you can master the skill of suffering because the objective is stronger than the perceived amount of energy used, which in, that, in this case is suffering. Or as the saying goes, for any man with a strong enough why, he can bear any how. The more that your why is there and you know why you're doing something, the more you can suffer to get there. But if you are blindly going against the current, the current will pull you in. That's how it always works. So remember, suffering is a skill. It doesn't always mean that it's bad and you control your mind through the things that you do. So always keep this positive for going and realize that sometimes the grind is necessary. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to comment below how and what you are suffering for. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.